Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. And today we're making a rust removing solution on the cheap. Let's dive in. A friend of the channel sent me a video from Beyond Ballistics. I'll leave a link to it down below. And he talks about how to make a rust removing solution with everyday things. He showed it working better than Evaporust and lasting longer than Evaporust. And I said, yeah, no way. But I do like to test things. So I thought, let's go big, and I made up three gallons of this stuff and put it to a test with one of the most rusty things in my shop. And if you want to understand the science behind this, go take a look at Beyond Ballistics channel. Uh, he really goes into de detail on it, and it's, it's kind of cool to see how the actual chemical bonds work back and forth and what actually goes into removing the rust without attacking the steel directly. His recipe is very straightforward. It's one liter of water to 100 grams of citric acid, 40 grams of washing soda, with just a little bit of dish soda added in. He showed mixing it up in a bucket and I thought that's kind of cool but it's an extra step. Why not just go ahead and mix it in the jugs? Uh -oh. And then I found out that if you pour in the baking soda into an acidic solution, um, well, you did the Coke and Mentos things. <laughs> yeah, I made a mess all over my bench. And so don't do that. Mix it up in a bucket, let it all settleize, and then go ahead and mix it into these. Now, a lot of people love just using vinegar or vinegar and salt if you want a faster one. But the problem with that is it's an acidic base and it starts to eat into it. And if you work with thin metals, um, some of these saws, it, it, sometimes it's a little tricky. You gotta be very, very careful on the amount of time you put into it. The nice thing about this is that the washing soda neutralizes the citric acid, but you're still left with the chemical bond that removes the rust. And for me, it cost $15 and $5. So $20 and I made up all of this. It did use all the citric acid, but I still have enough for probably another 20 gallons out of the washing soda. And this is the same washing soda I use when I do the electro bath. So for less than $20, I was able to go make up three gallons of this stuff. And that's really affordable. If you've ever bought a Vaporust, you know it's about 30 bucks a gallon, or for the same amount I paid for these three, you can go buy one little quart. Um, yeah, this is really, really affordable. Even with spilling a bunch of it from trying to mix it up in the jugs, yeah, use the bucket. Um, I still have three full gallons here. The question is, does it work? In Beyond Ballistics video, he goes into a lot more testing. I say, go check out his channel on that. It's really, really kind of cool and a lot more detail on what actually is going into this whole thing. And he showed that not only does it work faster and more efficiently, but you actually get more rust removal out of this per gallon than you would out of evaporust. I thought, you know, that there's no way that can actually be true. So I went and found the most rusty thing in my shop and I dunked it in the bath and I figured let's put it half in and half out to see what comes of it. And after 24 hours, we pull it out, rinse it off, scrub it off. And I did actually use the same wire brush on every spot on it, on the rusted side and the non-rusted side. So you get a direct comparison. And I was really, I was blown away. Uh, the difference on this is, is quite literally night and day. It was honestly a cleaner finish than I normally expect to get from Evaporust and, and way better than anything you're going to get from a vinegar base. I just really like how it came out. A really nice clean finish all around. Looking at the bottom side, there was a bit of pitting in there and so I was kind of wondering is the pitting caused from the mixture or was it from the rust? So the best way to figure that out is to come in with a wire wheel, a known finish, and I'm gonna scrub both sides and see after wire wheeling, does the rusted side look different? And honestly, no, the pitting is the exact same across. And really, I like the look of what was dipped rather than what was just wire wheeled. It came out much cleaner. And I really am impressed. Even some of the screws that were seized on, only being half dipped, um, they're all loose now, which I was really surprised. It came out better than I was expecting from Evaporust, not to mention just something I mixed up in my shop with a few simple things that you can buy on Amazon or even at your grocery store. I know a bunch of people are going to be like, oh no, it's acidic. There's problems with that. And you know, it's not acidic because that's what the washing soda is for. It neutralizes the acid in this and it's really close to a neutral base. So you're not going to have that acidic eating into the metal. It just corresponds with the oxidized steel. So 
Really, I love how it came out. Now, I do have to say, I didn't do the testing between this and Evaporust to see how much more rust could I get off and how much will absorb before it stops doing that, because eventually it starts to die out. Even with Evaporust, you can get a long lifetime out of it. Um, but supposedly, this lasts even longer than the Evaporust. So I'm interested to see that. And I may end up doing some long distance testing like that to actually see how much is eaten off over the time. But uh, for right now, this is gonna become my go-to rust removal solution. I really enjoyed it. Not to mention it actually smells a lot better. I was kind of looking forward to doing a debunking video. I haven't done a good one of those in a while, but in this case, this one's confirmed. This stuff works out really well and I'm looking forward to using it on a lot more things. So I'll leave links to this exact stuff that I purchased down below, or you can even go to your grocery store and pick it up there. But yeah, give it a try, see what comes out. I, I'm. I'm actually really kind of happy with it. I was very surprised and I'm looking forward to dipping a lot more things. Worked really well and it was slow enough that it was controlled with 24 hours, even with all that rust, it did a good job. So I'm looking forward to using it on more things in the future and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Is there something you have tried that works out well? Have you tried this before? Did you actually go and see Beyond Ballistics in their video? I'd love to hear that. And if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, snide remarks, or just want to be snarky, throw those down below. Thank you. That does help out the channel. Anytime you like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things, it really helps us out. It means a lot and gets us in front of more people. The algorithm, you know how it works. But if you want to be truly amazing, help out this channel and allow me to buy things like this and do some testing, think about joining these people over here. Those are some of the patrons on Patreon. And between patrons and members, you guys support this channel. And without you, we would not be here. You are the ones who keep us going, who pay for some of these dumb things to happen. So if you like that, then think about becoming a patron on Patreon. And I think they'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. The real origin story of Two-Face. He was just trying to save some money removing rust and unfortunately he mixed it up in the bottle and it blew up in his face.